So it's running Windows 7 on this phone on a TV, on a large screen, HD screen. It's running Windows 7 on a remote Citrix server. Yeah. Right, because we, we built in Citrix receiver, so you can run a remote Windows box yeah. through Citrix on a, using a full mouse and keyboard. And you'll notice the, the performance is quite good. This is what I was telling you earlier in the first video. Is it going to re rebuffer? Okay. It's fine. It's fine, totally fine, huh? Full screen? How, how, high bit, uh, how high resolution in the YouTube will work fine? Uh, I told you in the last video, yeah? 360p and 480p. If you go to 720p, you'll probably drop a few frames. Drop, can, you, can that be optimized? It's, 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 he's taking videos, so I want to make sure. Okay. Okay. So, can, can the YouTube be optimized? I, we don't talk about that. That's uh, Adobe, uh, we need to, like in terms of supporting 720p YouTube, it would be an adult uh, thing. Okay. But, uh, so, so you use this as your main computer, and what do you do with it? Well, everything I do during the day. So my email, um, all the, you know, most of the stuff at Motorola, our directory, all the things that we do when we're communicating with each other, working with each other, is all done over the web. We use much. Gmail or? Yeah, we use Gmail. So Motorola has switched entirely to Google Apps. That's public information. Yeah. Um, so I'm able to do a significant amount of our work on the web. For anything that I absolutely cannot do on the web simply because the application is not available on the web or there's just nothing there yet, then I, I will log into my uh, enterprise Citrix machine. And, and you I totally use that? that. Yes. Citrix? Yeah. So as you, you do all that stuff. The, as you can see from this video, yeah. the, the Citrix performance is quite good. I mean, it's very, very usable. And with yeah. the mouse and keyboard, it's as if you're sitting at your uh, Windows 7 desktop. So Citrix is a, is a huge uh, in virtualization, but it's quite uh, enterprise-centric. Uh, right. Will there be some features more like consumer-centric in that so area? For consumers, if you've noticed, on um, there are like VNC-type solutions that are com completely web-based in order to log into a remote PC or any of those other things that I was referring to. So from an enterprise perspective, we have dedicated Citrix machines, but for consumers, they can, they can use uh, um, open... HTML5 base. Because if you want to have full Word, for example, uh, full Microsoft Office Word, uh, you need licenses. So it's kind of like a, uh, it's, there's no like subscription model to get access to all these x86 apps virtualized. I'm just saying. Uh, well, yeah. when you're virtualizing a machine, you still have to pay for any of the software that's on the machine, right? Including yeah. the operating system itself. All right. right. But th but that's if you're not able to do all of your work on the web, right? This yeah. solution is to build a gap for users that spend most of their time on the web, right? Like we do. So at Motorola, we spend, since a lot of our applications are already ported over to the web, we can do most of our jobs completely how about, on the web. How about your team? Uh, everybody that works on your team, they can all use just that? You're dog fooding? You're doing that? Everybody's doing that? Everybody, <laughs> everybody is using these things in order to make sure that, I mean, just, just from testing. Of course, we're dog fooding to make sure that what we put out into the public is. Programmers would use that as well? We're not using it as our main device. Right. So, so we're, not, we're, not, right, we're not trying to say this will replace your desktop computer for people who do things like CAD or you know really high processing intensive things. That's not what this is for. This again, this is focused on consumers who you know have a need to who most of the time on their desktop or laptop computers will be surfing the web or doing things like Facebook or email, you know, Yahoo, etc. All those other things I had stated before. That's yeah. that's what that's what this is trying to solve. So could you show? Did you have a keyboard as well and mouse on the on the device? Sure. So you don't even need to connect a right. USB keyboard and mouse. Huh? So here's nothing connected except HDMI and uh, power. Yeah. Okay. And from the front of the phone, you have a uh, you can control the mouse cursor. You'll notice it's highly highly responsive. You can see both yeah. here, and uh, it supports. Two fingers scrolling both on the horizontal plane and the vertical plane. Uh, I can shift this window. Could you could you could you go up and, and search for uh, Motorola Atrix here in YouTube? Sure. Then, uh, so if you notice, it shows you the text here, so you don't have to keep looking up to yeah. see if you're typing the right thing. Oops. It can correct it. I, I, I double tapped on the A there, but. There you we can go. play a video there. Yeah. So we'll play the teaser once that comes back. This is an official video. Yeah, this is an official video. There you go. So uh, notice in that teaser, uh, that guy, the business guy there, he is. Uh, 
he's basically replacing his laptop with a... With I don't think that's what we're saying. We're, again, we're saying that it has the power to drive a laptop dog, yeah. not that it's replacing his laptop. Okay. We're, we're, we're not in the business of making laptops. That it's, you know, it's the future of mobile computing right. because there are capabilities on the phone itself along with the dog that make it as useful as a laptop is. For that. So for some segment of users, it could replace the laptop, but not all okay. users. So how, many, how many tabs do you have open when you use a browser? You don't, uh, you don't mind having lots and lots of tabs? Is it going to stay... Well, again, uh, it depends on what the tabs are doing, right? Right, just like any machine, any computer, if you have a lot of things going on, it starts to impact what you're doing, right? But, like for instance, if I want to just open a whole bunch of empty windows and empty tabs, I could do this all day and it wouldn't matter, right? Yeah. So, you know, it's... Is that a feature of Firefox or a feature that you, uh, 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 the ARM version of Firefox? That is... Uh, what, what is the feature? Can you be more specific? Uh, Optimizing the resources, like uh, not using too much RAM, and uh, and uh, how do you manage all that, the memory bandwidth and all these things? So I told you, we, I'm not, yeah. not going to talk about the architecture. Okay. So uh, these things, you, basically, you have Firefox. That's it. It's Firefox. We have Firefox. We have Google, Android, right? So you can run all of your Android apps. What do you do up here? These are notifications. You'll notice the same notifications that are on the phone that you would do a pull down. Yeah. It's also your desktop. So in case you get a notification that while your Android window is minimized, if you want to say, okay, I got some email, you double click on it and it'll pull it up and pull up the email. It's equivalent to pulling this down and then clicking on it. So we just make it easier for you. And as, as I showed you before, you know, it's what do you do down there? Interface. Where is this? This area. Okay, so this is uh, this is the mobile view, right? Which is your phone. This is how you get to the dialer. It's already in the dialer, so it didn't do anything. This is uh, how you get to your contacts. Scroll wheel is mapped. Um, this takes you to messaging. Another thing I can show you, that, uh, you, may, you may not have seen yet. Let me show you some things. Uh, I have to right click. So right click is uh, the uh, contact sensitive menu, and then I can uh, scroll here. Uh, another thing that we've done is, uh, let me grab some text here. We've also added Copy and past, really? Copy and paste. So I can copy here, go over here, go to messaging, go to text messaging. This is snappy. Grab this and right click and paste. You notice? Know this? this is full, full. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, productivity. Yes. You're, you're and, and, totally there. And what are these shortcuts? Right. So we've got printers. printers. So this what are the printers? How do you work with them, make them work? Network printers. Network so we'll printers. do IP-based network printers that are post compatible. There will be maybe some cloud print uh, things coming on, but that's Android-based in the future, right? Android this, has already, maybe? Um, I, yeah, something's going on. I, yeah. Yeah. So this is, here's the printers. This is for, so this is printer set up for laptop. Okay. So we handle network printers. You can do search or just type in the, the IP address or uh, the main, the, or the name. And these are uh, Android uh, tray icons so only? This takes you into the entertainment center. Yeah. This is the file manager. That's another thing I didn't show at the press conference. Um, so when you plug in mass storage devices, digital cameras that show up as mass storage devices, thumb drives, external hard drives, whatever, it'll show up here. If you have one, I can plug it in. Um, it'll show up here. You can go and copy, copy, drag and drop files, etc. Or you want to double click on a file. So like if you have images, double click on it, it'll open up in a browser, or if you want to watch a video. So we'll, we'll watch Timescapes, that's the one we keep demoing, right? So we'll double click on you get it full, you get it in... Uh, Do you support NTFS hard drives? Do we support NTFS hard drives? If it shows up as a mass storage device, we should support it. I can't claim that we support all drives because we haven't tested it with all drives. But again, we support the mass storage device profile for USB. And uh, you support all the codecs that uh, the, the processor does. Everything that is in there. I I don't know. Do you have a question about a codec? Uh, it'd be nice to know uh, eventually, uh, maybe at the next clip in the video, uh, yeah, what the bit rates, uh, the maximum bit rates resolution. We don't. Okay. The, we, the maximum re resolution, and we're saying that it's high definition, but we're not going to publish okay. the bit rate. Okay. And you have some, these are, these are shortcuts uh, that can be customized or not really? Yeah, so I can delete these. 
Nice. 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 Nice.